Okay. <clears throat> Let's try to make this productive for you. So, you're brand spanking new, and I can tell. Yeah. Which is cool. Um. Sorry, I haven't eaten lunch today. Give me a second. You're good, man. Go into the practice tool for me. Okay, so your first issue is you can't farm. Yeah, it's bad. It's really not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> it's really not, honestly. You're brand new, dude. This game is a nightmare. This game is so fucking hard to get into now. I know. Like, I, remember I downloaded a, a while back and played like one game and was like, nope, not for me. All right. Press shift B. <clears throat> Don't want to go. Warp into the, the middle of the map for now. Um, how do I do that? There you go. So <clears throat> you spawned a practice dummy. Oh, sorry. I didn't tell you it was uh, shift. What was it? The shift S to, to warp. Is that how it is? Yeah. Yeah. So. First things first, you're auto attacking every single time. Okay. There's a technique. Uh -huh. Press escape. Um, okay. So you've removed quick cast with indicator, which is good. Scroll down a bit. So you don't have all, or uh, you don't have that slow cast. Go to abilities and summoner spells. The first technique is the normal cast shit that I teach everybody. So spell one through four in the normal cast section. Hold shift and go shift Q, then go shift W, then go shift E, go right down the line. That's good. <clears throat> now don't don't press anything. No 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 no. Go shift R. I use, use or do you use T, T? For it and I use R for my attack move. R for your attack move. Yeah, instead of A. Why? Uh, it's easier for me than pressing A. Huh. And then I use T for my ultimate. That's weird. My <laughs> gut is telling me to tell you no. Go back to R. I'm go back to. It a? should be A. It should be A. Okay, how do I change that? Did I press okay? Scroll uh, press okay. Yeah, press okay. Now, scroll down. Everybody reinvents the wheel when they're new. It's weird. Go to go to player movement. Now, a. player attack move, yeah, should probably be A. I mean, honestly, I just, I don't understand, like, A is right there. Yeah, just use my ring finger. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> now, the reason that we have this ability, or the reason that we have this option, so if you press A left click. Now, let's let's do a scenario. Um, <laughs> what's the best way I can show this? Press Control Shift I. Do you have um two monitors, by the way? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do something. Spawn a bunch of practice dummies in a line. Okay, so uh, look at my screen real quick. There's a couple oh, yeah. things I wanna teach you. One, um, hold on one second. Okay. <clears throat> so imagine you're in a real game, okay? So first things first, you have quick cast, which is great. This is great that you have this because this basically means that you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with your aiming. But the shift thing that I taught you, this uh -huh. allows you to hold shift and swap and see your range on everything. Okay. So you have that option. So with Kaiser, I know her W is pretty long range, right? Yeah. So it's nice to know if you're going to hit something or not or where you're aiming, right? To be able yeah. to have that option is really important. The next thing I noticed, this is what you do. You don't have a stop yeah. command set. I do. I just never use it. It's on my mouse. It's on my mouse. It's a side button. You need to be using it more. The reason that you're missing farm all the time. The reason that you're missing farm all the time is because. Um, hold on. Where are they? There we go. 
<clears throat> because you you basically farm like this and when the minions get low oh it kind of needs to be in the middle of the map but basically when the minions get low what happens is you're autoing the whole time and you never stop and actually aim and look at the the uh animations so okay. like here for example the minions pop out you do something like this and you're like staggering so that you can't It'd be a scenario like this. It's like you're you're not stopping like this and aiming. Yeah. You're just auto attacking the whole time. And then it's like, oops, I missed, right? Because you're lot. not stopping and aiming. You need to use the stop command and look at the animation of the minions. And that'll really help a lot. So there's a couple drills that I want you to do. So okay. drill one looks like this. Generally, I had people do it with the Soraka, but you can do it just with no items too, like this. If you press Control Shift P, you'll restart the game, and then you all you have to do, and it's fine, you can just listen along. All you have to do is warp out into middle, and then okay. press Control Shift at the letter O one time, and then I would wait because you've already. Uh, do I want to level myself up or no? Like no, that. you want to you want to practice farming with only auto attacks, okay? Because this drill, you need to be hitting your farm reliably every time. Okay? There's no excuses. Those are my minions. There we go. Now, if you walk up the minions are gonna meet. You can auto them one time to prep the wave like this. You auto them one time. I know you can't see, I'm watching your screen. The minions are gonna meet, so auto them once, and then all you do is use your stop command and just last hit at the last second with auto attacks. Just last hit? Yep, just aim to last hit. I already screwed up. But you wanna just last hit? You'll have three right. waves. On the third wave, the cannon will come. Okay? And that's where it'll get really hard. If you do this right, it'll start being really difficult. I think my uh, practice tools actually broke because I... Yeah, I think I actually fucked it up because I leveled... Yeah. Because I leveled um, Ezreal up earlier. So I think I actually broke my drill. Because my cannon's already out here, so that's not really right. I'm gonna restart my practice tool. But yeah, go ahead. Your yours looks fine. Yours actually looks like it makes sense right now. I gotta get used to using A again. Damn. Now stop and look at the animation. Stop running around. Just stop and look at the minion animation. See? Like, you, that's all you have to do is just look. And then auto. Alright, press Control shift p Try again. Press Control shift o once. Press it again. Now wait. Then I want to use my Q to farm too, right? Mm. No, you need to learn how to farm without that. That's the oh, point. Right here. Got you, got you. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> the most important thing is to look at the physical animation of your casters and the minion. And it'll make it so much easier. So I know when they're gonna hit and how much time I have. Yeah. It's just a rhythm. The problem is, it, to a lot of players, it's just a blur, and they don't actually look at the animation. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. They just panic. Like, here, you can see which minion is taking what damage, and you can adjust. Oh, it's okay. And this is going to really help a lot, and start making you realize why you're missing the farm that you're missing. 
So you almost passed the drill already. Almost. So you're supposed to get 15 at least with the cannon. All right, how do I restart it? Control shift P. Yeah, the minions might break and if they do, we might have to restart practice tool. Oh, they didn't break yet. Another tip, the closer you are to the minions, the less your projectile has to travel. So whenever you have minions that are really close together, try to get close to them. You see what I mean? Yeah. The other tip, try to time your auto for the last possible second so you can understand like wave management, like the pushing. Like that, that's good. You should be able to tell because you're watching the minion, you see? You're actually yeah. focusing on it so you can tell if you were closer oh. to that one you probably could have got them both now obviously there's going to be exceptions to that distance rule like if you're facing somebody's actually pressuring you right um and you wouldn't be able to stand on top of them. But I'm just putting it in your head so that if there's ever a situation where you're like, shit, I need that farm, right? I missed that one too. It's okay. This is how you learn. So now I have another drill for you. I want you to okay. look at my screen. This is okay. drill one. And I'm glad that I'm making you do this because now you can do this on your own when I get off call. That is now your new responsibility in game to do that drill okay and what i'm saying is you need to you need to clear that drill before you queue for for a game from now on every single day i can do that every single game until you're reliably clearing that drill and it's 14 plus cannon right 15 plus cannon 15 plus cannon yes the next drill i'm going to show you actually i gotta add a practice dummy so this is this is why you add the luck spot, okay? Uh, you may want to when you can. You may want to restart your practice tool, but um, just because it's gonna bug out. <clears throat> so this, what I'm gonna show you now, is I'm going to show you the level two drill. Okay, have you ever seen this drill? I don't think so. Perfect. This is a good drill to show you then. These drills together, if you practice them, is going to make your learning experience a lot better. And you're going to basically understand how the early game needs to look. So what you're okay. going to do, once you restart your practice tool, I'm going to show you how it's done once. Okay. Restart. Do I need to leave to do that? Uh, Yeah, I would leave. Control shift period. But for now, just look at me. Okay. Uh -huh. What you're going to do is you're going to spawn an allied dummy. This is important. Spawn an allied dummy here, okay? Yeah. Spawn an enemy dummy here, okay? So there's an enemy dummy in this bush. Okay. You have the luck spot, right? Yeah. What you're going to do is you're not going to touch the luck spot until you're level two, okay? In a real game, you're allowed to hit the enemy champions, all right? right. The idea is, though, <clears throat> in order to make this work, you need to get level two before your opponent but not so fast that the wave pushes. So let me show you the example. So you'd auto the wave once, just like before, you just chill. If she autos, you auto. I would recommend you don't use any abilities early as you're learning this. Okay. You want to stay just ahead of her on the push. Obviously my farm can be better here, but you get the idea. Yeah. See how I'm just ahead of her on the push yeah. the whole time, right? Now, once the second wave gets here, you want to level two. She used her abilities. You can use your abilities because that's kind of bullshit, <laughs> right? Now, at level two, look. Then on level two, you go for the all in, right? However, it turns out for you. However it turns out for you, like you miss or whatever, that's fine, right? But the point is, I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you faster now. Huh. 
All right, here it goes. So same rules. You auto it once. She autos, you auto, okay? Ah. Uh. You see how she's pushing kind of fast? Yeah. The whole point of this exercise is to get you understanding how wave manipulation works. This way, you're always first to level two, and then you play it aggressively. I try That's not to auto attack I Lux because I, I normally when I'm playing, I leash too much, like because I'll get there and the minions are already like halfway mm -hmm. dead. You can you can do like four autos and then uh, show up. Now again, as soon as this minion, the third minion of the second wave, like the third melee. So you start walking forward even before you uh, exactly up. yes that's the point of the drill yes the point of the drill is to get you used to playing aggressively right now yeah. i want to show you one more time before i let you try it i'm going to show you the pitfalls now Here's the problem with shoving right away. So if you push just like this, which is what some people do when they're new, they go, That's well, Nice told me, Nice told me to go for level two right away, right? Look where the wave vines up. Yeah. And then she's behind tower. Exactly. So now if we level two. It's useless. Yep. So I'll show you again on level two. So you just, you know, do your thing or whatever. It's like this will never be as smooth, right? Like this won't, this doesn't look nearly as safe, nearly as reliable, and it doesn't give you as much space to work with. The other thing is that players are afraid of their opponents early levels because they don't want to tank any damage But you need to realize that level twos give you lots of base stats and it gives you access to an ability and it's a 2v2 lane So you basically have two ability advantage plus advantage in base stats to your opponents huh, The reason you spawn the pra practice dummy here by the way is so that you get an accurate representation of the um Of the leveling because the XP actually goes to the practice dummy. A little fact that okay. most people don't know. Did not that's know why that. that's why I turned level two so fast up here, because there's no practice dummy nearby. Okay. Yeah. No, a lot of people don't know that. There's people in Challenger who don't know that. So <laughs> <clears throat> now you know. Okay. Now you know the two drills that I want you being a pro at. Okay? Okay. And you said she uses the abilities that I can? Yep. Because that's how it's like in a real game. You wouldn't want to just waste your abilities on the wave. You want to be just ahead of them slightly. This balancing act, dude, you could abuse this all the way to platinum. Yeah. In bot lane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. It gets you a lead and lets you play with momentum. So yeah, auto ones. Aren't we autoing? She's autoing. She's gonna beat you to the push. Oh my god, I mm -hmm. queued. She's a, she's ahead of you. No, you shouldn't have queued. But you can't attack Lux, remember. Right. Not until two. She's autoing and you're not. You let the bot beat you to level two. Yep. The bot just level two'd you. Oh my god. How do I reset? Control shift P. So when I'm going for CS, I don't gotta I don't gotta use the attack move A, right? I, I just right click it. So if you're I never do. Basically the A left click, you can use it because it'll go what's closest to your cursor. Closest. But I like to use a left click mostly for minions that I know I, I won't misclick ever. Okay. So like a minion that's just by itself and low, I'll do that. Um, I also like to use it a lot on uh, team fighting.
If you're telling him the last hit, but rush level two. No, I want him to rush level two and be slightly ahead of Lux. Keep autoing. If she autos, you need to switch targets and auto. There you go. It doesn't matter where, it just needs to be an auto, right? Now try to stay just ahead of her. Don't go too fast. You're, you've got her off the wave, so you don't have to move. See? Linden, thank you so much. Now you keep autoing. Now push for level two. Now get ready to walk up. You want to try to sink it. Now walk right up, right at her, straight at her. Go. Walk her all the way to tower. You see how she turned level two at the same time? Yeah, I want to be there before she gets chance. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Run it back. Does this make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Good. I see a lot of people do it, but mm -hmm. I always... Like I said, I always leash too long and I end up getting there having to cue the wave immediately to not miss this first 3CS. Yes. Now here, when you get more creative, you should take the melee minions first, dude, because that's what's going to set up your all in. Like I'll always auto them first. Mm -hmm. You should be autoing them right now. The melee ones. Yeah. Now step in. Oh, I'm trying to press R again. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Does this make sense? Absolutely. Good. I never even thought about like the base like, base damage and base and then extra skill and stuff like that. Yes. Here, two extra let me skills. let me see if we can do it versus each other to test it. I want to see if it'll work. i by, by the way, you're testing new ground with me. I've never I've never tried this. Heard. I think we could actually make Lux bots and put them both on intermediate and just play it like this just to get the feel for the level two. I could be I could be innovating something beautiful right now. Now your goal is to beat me to level two. And okay. all in me, and I'm gonna try to beat you to level two and all in you. Okay. The first iteration of this, you cannot auto attack me, and I cannot auto attack you until we're level two. Okay? Okay. But we're following the same rules, so we both wanna kill each other at two. Oh, my minion creeps running. <laughs> What's going on back here? Mundo is beating ass, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Mundo, get the fuck off me, Mundo. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll have to match the bots so it's not as yeah. uh, silly. <laughs> Yeah. Running Lux away. Yeah, Mundo's fucking cheating, bro. <laughs> Bot Mundo OP. Yeah, he's OP. But as you see, now look, you're in control of the lane. Now slow down. There's no need to push fast. Look. Do you see this? Yeah. Now you're in control until I get two, but you have the wave the whole time. I want to try my best to keep you off of it, right? Oh, you just got two. Well, yeah. Well, once I get two, yeah. But the thing is, is you have an advantage until two. But you also have the, you also have more minions, right? So I can't, like, look, let me show you. If I tried to fight you, if I tried to fight you here, look. It's just how the game's designed, you see? Yeah. I can't fight you in that. I could try, but it's in your favor because the minions are blocking it, right? Absolutely. All right, leave real quick. Let's, let's do that again. Mundo is bullshit. A. That feels so weird to me. And you just leave, we'll wait a second, and then uh, I'll try one more, and then I have to go, because I have to do this All stupid right. TSA bullshit. All right, this time. Now, we're going to follow the, the rules here, except this time, you can hit me, and I can hit you. Okay? Oh, God. Heard. So, you've got to make the choice. If you go for, if you go for the push, right, I'm going to poke at you. 
Go ahead and buy an item too. Okay. Russ, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. Everybody claim your subs. Holy shit, that's 25? Russ donated 30 subs? <laughs> Okay, that's about 30, right? So luck should follow to bottom with you, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Dude, I think I'm breaking new ground as a coach. I never tried this before. I shouldn't hit the bot. That should be the rule. We shouldn't hit. We can't hit the bots. We can hit each other, but we can't hit the bots. You got. Okay. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now. Now that I've done it. I didn't realize until I was doing it. Sorry. Now your job is when your opponent's about to turn two, you have Just to get the up. fuck out. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Run it back one more time, quick. Leave and do it one more time. I know I'm cutting it close on my other thing, but I want to make sure that you're confident. I keep still trying to press R. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I saw a video of a guy saying... Who? Who presses uh, R to fucking... I don't know who it is. It better be the, the best AD carry ever for me to swap my fucking R key to. I honestly don't even think he was an AD carry. Who was it? Was it just a random guy? Have, yeah, it's a random YouTube video. It sounds like a a troll to me. Okay, I gave you a head start this time. Oh, you, I just hit your lux. Yeah, don't cheat. Don't cheat the bot, bro. <laughs> oh, well, I did it on accident, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to either. <laughs> I hit the bot again. Oh, the bot's fucking me up. See what I mean, though? Oh, yeah. Bitch ass Lux. <laughs> My Lux is a god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Now, what we went over today. So we made sure your controls made sense. We made sure that you had a drill to follow up on. You need to fix your farm and you need to make sure that you're battling for two. It's the ninth minion. So the third melee minion of the second wave. None of the range creeps. Don't worry about the range creeps in the second wave. Uh. If you're in the wave, when the minions get there, and you didn't miss any XP, it'll be the third minion of the second wave. That's where okay. you start. Every every level up, you can pay attention to your XP bar next to your um, champion, and you yeah. can see. You can see how close you are to leveling up, and then you can set up all-ins like that. Yeah, start but, walking forward, but I need like one minion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bait the opponent. Do you see how even though you stood there and just fought me and I tanked both you, the minions, and the Lux, it doesn't yeah. matter, right? Like you're gonna yeah. die unless you Absolutely. flash. That's that's what I'm trying to show you. Is that like the the guy has a big advantage that a lot of people don't realize. It doesn't matter what champion you play either. It's all the same. Yeah, so level anytime anyone I play, level two all in. Level advantage should all your default when you see levels next to champions. If you out level your opponent, you should think I beat him if I play it right. Okay. Like yeah, there's obviously the exceptions. There, yeah, there's obviously exceptions to that rule. Like, um, you know, if you're Jin and you're a level ahead of like a Trindamir, but the Trindamir is like on top of you the whole time, that that, that level shit doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, doesn't work out. But but as a general, like a lot of this game is just condensing things into guidelines right like the pirates code like pirates of the caribbean right yeah it's like guidelines <laughs> like there's there's rules here that we're kind of following that you need to be aware of so that okay. when you're playing now you know <clears throat> when i go into lane i'm gonna try to kill people at level two right away and then every level up from there on you should be thinking hey i'm about to level up over this guy let me try to cheat it and get ahead of him 
And generally, that's only going to happen when you're pushing, by the way, which is why you have to get the push. If the wave's pushing to you, the, your opponent's always going to level up before you. Yeah, and then I, the, getting level two first and getting that first kill helps you for, like, the whole laning phase, Exactly. Right? Yes, like exactly. You understand. Yes, that's what I'm trying to show you, is that, remember what just happened with Lux and Ziggs? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can't forget it. They don't know why they're beating you, because they're noobs, too. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. They just happen to get ahead of you guys because, you know, Brand didn't do any, do any uh, damage or anything. But your level two wasn't really crisp yet because you're still learning. However, once you get better at it and you're poking your opponent as you push forward, then you level two, you get the kill. Now they're on the ropes for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. And your friend, your call me back up, the guy you were just playing with just said he added me and said he'd help me with it anytime when he's on. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, my community is the best, yeah. man. Like... They'll, yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll definitely help you out. Um, so, yeah, we covered a lot. Use the drills to start. I know drills are kind of boring, but it's going to save you a lot more time. Like, video games are kind of interesting because it's not like the gym where you do some, you do some fucking workout for, like, three months before you see any result. Like, you do yeah. this drill and sleep on it. After you do it a couple days, sleep on it. Do it a couple days, sleep on it. Eventually, it's going to just be like, you're so far ahead of the curve because you just understand the rules now. Oh, yeah. Right. That's why I'm glad I started wanting to get coaching so early. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm new. I was like, was it worth it? Is it worth it? But like, I could always learn. Yeah, this will, this will help you a lot. So if you do get coaching from me next time, I expect your level twos to be looking a lot better. I expect okay. your your um, farm to be a lot better. Make sure that when you're pushing on your own that you stop from time to time. Just slow down. Remember, just watch the actual animation. Yeah. When you're going to focus on farm, you'll see the minions will tell you like how long you have to wait. That's why most players miss it. It's because, like I said, for you right now, since you're new, it's like a brain fog thing. You just see a bunch of minions and shit flying around, right? Because you're new. Yeah. You don't... I'm just like, attack, attack. Yes. Exactly. That's what we're trying to avoid is because when I even I'm even guilty of this on some of my champions where I don't stop and focus up like when I'm pushing like if I'm not playing one of my like if I'm not playing like Trinomir or something where I can just easy farm it like say I'm playing like Twisted Fate I'll just start missing uh -huh. farm on the side lane sometimes because I'm just I'm not following that rule. Yeah. So it's really important that you remind yourself like that's what that's why you're missing. Like, yeah, slow down. Don't, yes, exactly. Slow you can out. push and you can auto different minions that have more health. But when those minions are getting low, you do need to eventually stop and be like, okay, what is that? Is like, like what animation is hitting that minion so I can like actually hit it? Absolutely. And then also pressing the S button, st pressing stop is something I need to start practicing a lot. Yes, use I it. Use do. it a lot. It's like my second most pressed button in League. Jesus. Like it's got to be. It's got to be in the top three. I think. Because I use it all the time. Okay? And I see a lot of... Yeah, absolutely, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, what were you going to say before I let you go? I, said, I see a lot of players talk. Like, I watch FSN Saber, too, and he talks about it. And uh, He uses so Sob Key a lot, it. yeah. Yeah, I've known it. You know, that's why I put it on my mouse button, but I just never got around to doing it. Yep, stop you, st or start using it so that you have that that visibility on the... the it's Think about it in terms of, like, you play basketball at all? Absolutely. Think of it in terms of like squaring up to shoot a jump shot. Okay. Every time you're going to shoot a jump shot, you kind of like bend your knees a little bit, right? Yep, yep. And then you do the follow through. This is yep. the same thing with farming. It's just at a faster rate. That makes sense. Yeah. So like anytime that you're, you're forced to, you, or you have to hit the farm or you're not really contested, you should be incorporating stop commands more. Because how can we possibly miss this farm? This is a, this is a layup, right? Yeah. That's how your brain should in interpret it. Is like now when you're under pressure and you've got to like steal farm and run the fuck away before you get binded. Like that's a different thing. Like that's not yeah. what I'm saying. You don't have to stop, obviously. But I'm saying that when it's just like, hey, they backed off the lane and we just get the free push. Like remember when you turned level two and I was like, look, you can just slow down. Yeah. That's when you go into that drill that I just showed you. Okay. Right? Your opponent's back off the wave and you're pushing. Well, now you can just slow the push down and just last hit so you get everything and then you push on your own terms. Uh -huh, then they got to come make them come to me again. Exactly. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good one. Thank you. You as All well. All right, peace.